Welcome to Rocks. Welcome back to um, another video today. It's um, it's Friday. It's Friday, May first, and today it's we're back here today for another, with another video today. Um, as we come here to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus today, um, we're gonna change act, we're gonna change things up today, and we're gonna be starting with our uh, time of devotion today. Instead of our normal time of worship today. We're going to start with our time of devotion today. Um, that way we can uh, just worship our Lord and Savior Jesus today. So we're going to start off with our time of devotion today. Um, so I'm just going to um, just quickly say a word of prayer. And then we're going to get right into our time of devotion today, shall we? Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, as we um, continue today, as we continue to worship you today, Lord Jesus... And as we worship you on this um, on this Friday, Lord Jesus, and I just pray that, um, that as we spend time in your word and in song today and worshiping you t and honoring you today, Lord Jesus, and I just pray all this today in your name today, Lord Jesus, and I pray, amen, amen. Welcome to our rocks. Thank you for this. Um, we're going to actually, I'm going to actually stand up, stand up here um, and so we can actually um so we can do our, um, so just so we can do our quarantine quiet time. Um, so I'm just going to stand up here today. Yay. Um, so I'll just bear with me as I get set up now since I'm standing. Uh, and, and I'm not sitting anymore, so. I'm actually not, and I'm not sitting anymore, so I'm just quickly grab the Bible. Um, I'm going to get started. But, so. Okay. So here's our. So I got the Bible. I'm glad I have the Bible. Now it's the Bible. So now we're good because I got the Bible. So now it's, it's today's quarantine quiet time. Um, it's talking about um. So now it's, what we're talking about today is the triumphal entry. Um, in uh Mark chapter eleven, so we're talking about the triumphal entry, and so that's from verses one through uh to eleven. Then uh, verses twelve through eighteen, we talk about. Jesus clearing the temple. Jesus clearing the temple. Um, and then the next day, um, after um, Palm Sunday, then after he clears the temple from t verses 22 um, 20 to 28, no, 26, we talk about the, the withered fig tree. Then to, and then to close, 27 to 33, we talk about... Um, we talk about the authority of Jesus questioned. Um, so we're going to actually, so I'm just going to start talking about the triumphal entry. So the triumphal entry is, um, is, what, is when King Jesus, is when Jesus is king and he travels into Jerusalem. Um, and, um, and they shout, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. And we, um, and if you want to know more about it, we did this on uh, Palm Sunday. We read this scripture in Palm, during during Palm Sunday, and um, and we did a few songs because one of the songs we did was "Praise Is Rising, Hosanna." But actually, I want to actually. I'm not. We're not. We're not going to play that song. I'm going to. I'm just going to sing it for you uh, guys today. I'm just going to sing Hosanna, Praise Is Rising today. Um, who's in a, who's a, praises rising, ah, and with the song, may, may the peoples praise you, but, I'm just gonna sing today for you, the song, Hosanna, praises rising, here we go, praises rising, eyes are turning to you, we turn to you, hope is stirring, Hope is stirring, hearts are yearning for you, we long for you, cause when we see you, we find strength to face the day, and in your presence, and in your presence, all our fears are washed away, washed away, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Hear the sound of hearts returning to you. We 
eternity. In your kingdom, broken lives are made new. You make us new. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Hosanna, Hosanna. Come have your way among us. We welcome you here, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right there was Hosanna. Praise his rise. Eyes are turning to you. We turn to you um, today. Um, so, um, so, uh, so let's start with verse 1 of chapter 11. As they approached Jerusalem, and came to Beth, 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 Bethphage uh, and Bethany. At the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saving, to, saying to them, go to, the, go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever Read it, untie it, and bring it here. If anyone asks you, asks you, why are you doing this? Tell, tell him the Lord needs it, and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside up in the street, tied to, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked. What are you doing? Unti untying that colt. They answered as Jesus had told them to. And the people let them go. And the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Jesus sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead of those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father, David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around and at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Wow. So now we're talking about Jesus clearing the temple. And this happens on, on, the, on Monday, day two of Holy Week. Um, so we start at verse 12 and go on to verse 19. So here, and it says this. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seen in the distance, seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf he went to find out if it had any fruit when he reached it he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs then he said to the tree may no one ever eat fruit from you again and his disciples heard him say it on reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple area and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow any one to carry merchandise through the temple courts. As he had and he and as he taught them he said it is not written my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations but you have made it a den of robbers the chief priest and the teachers of the law heard this heard this and began looking for a way to kill him for they feared him because they the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, they went out into the city. So, what they're saying is that the temple is God is Jesus' house. Jesus' house is the temple. And he's saying that his house, which is a temple, will be called 
a house of prayer. So now he's just saying that his house, which is a temple, will be called a house of, of prayer. So the temple will be used for prayer. Um, so that right there is just amazing. Um, but we now go from verse 20 to verse 20 um, to verse uh, 26. And we talk about... Um, is it 26? I'm trying to make sure it's 20. It is 26. 24, 25. Looks like it's 25. 25 or 26. I actually am not sure. But who cares? We will find out. Yeah, we will find out. Okay. So, alright. So, the weathered... The withered fig tree is now what we're talking about. Verse 20 starts at, and it says this. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree with wet, withered, withered from the roots, from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. 22, have faith in God. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for, for in prayer, believe that you have received it. And it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven may forgive you for, may forgive you your sins. Wow. So now we go to verse 27. Talk, uh, it's the last section in, um, in uh, chapter 11. And now we're talking about, um, we're talking about the authority of Jesus, of Jesus' question. Well, they arrived again in Jerusalem, and while Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests and teachers of the law and the elders came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked. And who gave you authority to do this? Jesus replied, I will ask you one question. Answer me. And I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism. It was it from heaven or from men. Tell me. They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if they say from men, they fear the people for everyone held that John really is a prophet. So now they're saying, so now they're starting to say that, um, that they fear the people for everyone held that John really is a pro was a prophet. So now they're saying that John really was a prophet. Um, so they answered Jesus, we don't know, Jesus said. Neither will I tell you by all, by what authority I am doing these things. So Jesus said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Well, 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 Monday, Monday, not tomorrow, tomorrow not, not Sunday, 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 Monday, 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 Monday will be in Mark, Mark chapter 12, 12, 12, 12, talking about the parable of the tenements, of the tenants, and then we'll be talking about paying taxes to Caesar, and we're going to be talking about marriage at the resurrection, then the greatest commandment. Then whose son is the Christ? Then the widow's offering, offer, offering, and then that's where we end chapter twelve. Then Tuesday we'll be in chapter thirteen, talking about signs of the end of signs of the end of the age. Um, and um, 
the day to the day and hour unknown. Then Wednesday will be in verse four in chapter fourteen talking about Jesus anointed at Bethany. The Lord's the Last Supper, the Lord's Supper, whatever you want to call it. Um, Jesus predicts Peter's denial. The Garden of Death Gethsemane. Jesus uh, getting arrested. And then before the Saint Hadrian. And then um, Peter disowns Jesus. Then Thursday we'll be into verse 15. Jesus before Pilate. The crucifixion that happens on Good Friday. The soldier mock Jesus. The death of Jesus. The burial of Jesus. Then um, Friday we'll be in verse 16, chapter 16. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. And then after that, we are done with, with the book of Mark. And then we'll be going to our, into our next book, which is Colossians. So right now we're almost so I want to say that we are almost on the book of Mark right now. Um, and just to continue to worship our Lord and, let's, and just to continue to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus today. As we continue today. Um, and go into our, our uh, a, t a time of uh, devotion worship, a time of worship work, 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 work. Uh, for today's devotion. As we go into our our uh, devotion time of worship today. Um to worship and honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. Um, so if you please, uh, so if you want, please join me in time of worship, worshiping His name today, and worshiping our Lord and Savior Jesus today. Um, thank you, thank you. So now so we're, we're going to go into our time of worship today, and just worship and we'll worship His name today. But before I want to greet you, so tomorrow. Uh, so our, our weekly quarantine white time is done for the week. So that means we're going to be going into. Um, so I mean tomorrow we'll be doing our um, just like like last Saturday devotion. We'll talk about why why is the Bible important and why the Bible. Well, the question I left you with last week I forgot, but. Who cares? That question was. But we're on to two new two questions this week. The first question, and we're going to be entering talking about the, this tomorrow. The Bi we're going to be talking about tomorrow. The Bible is a revealing book. Um, we're going to be talking about the, the Bible is a revealing book because it is. Um, so tomorrow we'll be talking about why does God want you to understand His book. Well, why does God want you to understand his book? And then, how has he done this? How has he done this? Is what we're going to be uh, focusing on tomorrow. Um, so just please uh, stay tuned um, as we just talk about that tomorrow. More tomorrow. Um, why is the Bible I'm talking about as we get dig deep into the Bible being a re revealing book? Um, as we look in um, a few uh, scriptures, um, and then as we also have a time of worship tomorrow, as we do the song "We Fall Down" by Chris Tomlin, "God of Wonders" by Third Day, Lord, I need you. We're going to do again. Death was arrested. Awesome God, our God is an awesome God. The living hope by uh, Phil uh, Wickham, and then "Reckless" by Jeremy by Jeremy Cam. Um, so let's just um, end today with the song Days of Elijah. Actually, so we're, 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 what's going to happen is we usually end with a song. We, we are gonna, still going to end, end, end the song today. But before we end in the song, we're going to have our time of worship today. Our quarantine quiet time time of worship before we end the song today. Before we end in the song today. So if you jo will join me in our next video, please join me as we start off our worship time of our quarantine quiet time with reckless love death was arrested today death was arrested so uh, please join me today thank you